Um, so uh, I think it's it's uh, time to conclude. I mean, uh, I, I don't know about you, but usually after a, a whole day of uh, conference, I feel completely pooped. But I don't. You know, uh, uh, I've been uh, sitting uh, through and listening to everyone uh, very very carefully, and really, I I must say, although the the, the subject were, were, wasn't. Uh, a really um, a very decorative or very pleasant one, you know. Uh, I really enjoyed it thoroughly. Uh, so I'm, I'm just speaking for myself, but I hope that you you share the, in in this uh, in this impression. And uh, uh, I really feel uh, very uh, uh, grateful to all of you um, uh, for for being here. Uh, to, of course, I mean, to the speakers, to uh, Madame Bosser, who keeps disappearing or uh, <laughs> being disappeared. <laughs> 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 um, uh, Sanjit Kumar, also, who uh, helped me a lot in, in uh, organizing this conference. And um, uh, maybe uh, you might think that, uh, on, on looking at the, uh, at the program, that uh, it's a sort of... Um, uh, you know, uh, uh, helter skelter of, uh, of uh, things on India, Japan, China, you know, sort of uh, thrown together. But in fact, I mean, uh, I, I don't uh, know whether you can sense the, the, the actual co coherence, you see, of, uh, of the presentations from the first one uh, given by, given by, by Professor uh, Singh. Uh, who started, um, and I think it's, um, uh, without revealing anything, I mean, uh, I, I think it uh, runs in the family, so to speak. I mean, this uh, very uh, in-depth reflection on what it means to uh, wield uh, political power, you know. And, um, and uh, Professor Singh, you know, uh, underlined from the very uh, beginning of this conference that uh, uh, violence is actually inherent in the uh, in the exercise of power of uh, you know rulership uh, kingship and some uh, potential uh, kings sovereigns leaders you see are even afraid of uh, you know having to exert this uh, cruelty you know because they know that they they'll have to do it you see so uh, so it might uh, be frightening <coughs> for uh, subjects who have to undergo this uh, uh, state violence, but yeah, sometimes the leaders themselves, not the Chinese ones, obviously, but uh, sometimes the, the, the leaders themselves might be um, afraid of, um, of this uh, 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 state monopoly of uh, violence. And um, uh, of course, I mean, uh, uh, by the end of the conference, I mean, we've uh, seen a particular instance of the, this wielding of, uh, of violence that goes into something like madness. You know, uh, I think in, in, in the case of Mao, there was this um, uh, folie du pouvoir, you know, this power mania, you know, uh, that uh, led him to, um, uh, uh, you know, of course, I mean, uh, the wielding of political uh, power is about this paradox of the use of violence to achieve order, you know. But in the case of Mao, and I, I think uh, Michel Bonin has uh, showed it in a very convincing way, um, you have this uh, use of, uh, you know, this unleashing of total violence, you know, of civil war, as he, he would say himself, you know, the hate of all against all. Uh, to actually ensure his own power, you know, his own uh, personal power, and that's the the, the complete madness about uh, about this uh, about the situation. And in a way, uh, uh, Jean Philippe Béja has uh, has shown that now uh, that we uh, that China is in the hands of uh, technocrats and uh, uh, and uh, let's say um, uh, political managers, you see. Uh, uh, in fact, I mean, this not only is this past still inscribed, you know, uh, in their way of managing the, uh, the country, uh, but um, uh, in a way they, they are sort of transforming it into something even more uh, um, uh, radical, uh, totalitarian and, uh, and uh, frightening, actually. Um, and... Um, 
um, I would, I would, you know, sort of um, uh, have a, a, a rather general remark uh, because uh, that would involve, um, you know, all the participants here. Um, when um, uh, Michel Bonin was uh, uh, telling us about the Great Leap Forward in 1958, uh, by the way, uh, we are not very far from uh, that uh, terrible uh, war that uh, uh, took place between India and China in 1962, which was uh, pretty traumatic as well. Anyway, um, uh, Michel was saying that uh, at that time, Ch China was transformed into a big army. And so that reminds me of a remark I heard about uh, Switzerland, you know. Um, uh, someone, uh, a Swiss citizen, um, uh, described uh, Switzerland uh, not as having an army, but being an army, all right, you know, and uh, uh, well, this is uh, this is a, a sort of jocular way of, of saying that uh, you have a number of uh, great countries in the world that have been turned, you know, the great you know societies that have been turned into armies. You know, uh, of course, uh, we can think of uh, we talked about Japan. Uh, we've been uh, uh, referring to Nazi Germany. Uh, we've been talking about the uh, USSR, and, and China is also, you know, part of this club, you know, of uh, uh, big countries in the world that have been turned into, into an army, you know, uh, to think like an army. And I was thinking, but maybe I'm wrong, you know, as I'm turning to my, to my Indian colleagues here, um, uh, maybe India is an exception. Or... Uh, for, for not being turned into an army. I mean, uh, what do you think? I think it's the army of trolls which are uh, ruling people today. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, mm -hmm. then uh, people are being ruled, whether in the US or in the Yes. But well, what I mean by, by society being turned into an army is, is this uh, really sort of iron discipline, you know, that, uh, mm -hmm. that uh, is supposed to, to uh, unite the whole country. You know, no, but, that, but I think that yeah. you have to be fair with the Swiss, you know, because we have Marianne here who is, <laughs> who, who is about to cry, you know, and, uh, and uh, I think that there are two kinds of armies, uh, of national armies. You have an army of citizens, in Switzerland, and you have an Art army city. of subjects, like in China, you know? <laughs> That's the difference. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right, so um, any other, you know, anyone wanting to uh, grab the, the opportunity? Yes? <laughs> 